Hello and welcome to another episode of Salary Voodoo, the show right here on the MMA Engine, where I, your host Monk, aka the Monk Matician, break down three fights that you guys chose in the comment section from last week uh, to go over from a Salary Voodoo perspective. So thank you so much for putting those fights in. Really appreciate it. Now, what is Salary Voodoo? Well, it is a different way of looking at uh, statistical information that has to do with just the salaries of uh, of these fights coming up on Saturday. No fighters. We don't care who the fighters are. We just care about the statistical information that I'm pulling from these salaries. Uh, like how often does the weight class make optimal? How often does the uh, third fight of the night make the optimal? Where does $8,400 salary sit on the range of salaries um, as far as making optimal? So we are going to go over all of that, give you some hardcore uh, statistical information that is not readily available elsewhere. That's what we're trying to do. And uh, it should help you as far as GPP lineup construction. Pair this with my game theory video over on the Monk Maddox channel, which I will have linked in the description below. Pair that with that, and you will never pair that with this rather, and you will know exactly how to play these three fights coming up. So, guys, without further ado, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe on the MMA Engine channel, me, Wheezy, Brady, and Lou, bringing you content several times a day, several days a week before each and every UFC card. So hit those buttons, hit the bell as well, and you will know exactly how to play every single fight, whether it comes to DFS, wagering, or just straight up picks with your friends. So guys, first fight that we will be talking about for Salary Voodoo, 8,600 and 7,600. We have got Matthew Semmelsberger going against Alex Morono. Uh, this one picked by Mahler138. Again, thank you so much, Mahler. Uh, a a longtime watcher and subscriber. And the dude's been killing it lately as far as uh, wagering and DFS goes, it looks like. So congratulations there. And thanks again for giving me one of these fights and for your contribution to the show, guys. Welterweight. Uh, this one's going to be at Welterweight, I should say, 170. Um, the wel Someone from a Welterweight fight makes the optimal 45.45% .45 of the time. You want this number to be above 50, and it is well below. In fact, it is the second worst uh, weight class to play as far as optimal lineup with the worst being bant women's bantamweight and women's featherweight so not very surprising there this is currently the eighth fight of the night and someone from the eighth fight makes optimal just 48.53 percent of the time guys another one under 50 percent not what we're looking for uh however we do turn that luck around with the salary pair meaning someone uh or when these two salaries do meet in the octagon someone uh, makes optimal 60% of the time, so that is a fantastic number. Uh, in fact, let's see, it appears to be the third or fourth best number out of all salary pairs, so 60% is tremendous. Now, let's get right into it. Um, is this right? Hold on a second. 86? No, this is not right, guys, so uh, bear with me. We'll start with the $7,600 side. I must. I don't know what happened. Uh, $7,600. Set has made the optimal 17 times out of 65 uses. That is accurate. It has been optimal 26.15% of the time. Uh, it has just a 33.85 win percentage. So it does uh, drop off a cliff there as far as win percentage. Uh, just one out of three times. Not great uh, for the $7,600 salary. When it does win, however, makes optimal 72.73% of the time. Uh, and when it does win, one of the best numbers on the card, 107 and a half points. I have no idea why this salary uh, scores this many points. In fact, the $7,700 salary when it wins scores 96, and the $7,500 salary when it wins scores 93. This one is just randomly 107 and a half. So when it does win, it sure does like to score. Now, bear with me. Listen to my voice and not the numbers on the screen when it comes to 8,600. 8,600 has been used uh, 64 times and has made optimal 22 out of 64 times. Not 17 out of 65. This is a wrong number. 22 out of 64 times for an optimal percentage of 34.38. One of the best numbers out of all salaries. A fantastic number to play. Uh, the win percentage here, this, these numbers are accurate. Win percentage uh, and the rest of them I'm going to talk about are accurate. Just the optimal in times used is 22 out of 64, and the optimal percentage is 34.38. The rest are accurate. 67.19% uh, win rate, fantastic for the $8,600 salary. And when it does win, an astounding 
0.16% of the time it finds itself on the optimal lineup. Average DraftKings points per win, very good, but 10 points under its counterpart here, 97.25. So, guys, typos aside, what do we got here as far as do we have some good voodoo? Do we have some bad voodoo? What have we got for 86 and 76? Mahler 138's fight. We got ourselves a Bernie, guys. It is the uh it is a great salary to uh salary or fight to play if I could speak right. Bernie means we got that good voodoo. You'll know the bad voodoo when you see it. But if you see a Bernie, you know we have that good voodoo, meaning this fight is a good fight to target for GPP tournaments, guys. The $8,600 salary has a salary score of 6.35. That is the fifth best number overall out of all salaries. So definitely a good thing there. The $7,600 salary, 8.15 score, so not as good, but still 13th out of 30 salaries. That is the top 50 some percent. Very, very good. Put these two together. It's got to be a Bernie baby, especially with that salary pair of 60%. Gotta love it. So thank you, Mahler138. We got ourselves a Bernie on your fight. Fight number two is the heavyweight uh, battle. Tom L312, thank you so much, Tom, for giving us this one. I was hoping somebody would, and you nailed it. So I really do appreciate your contribution. 8,200 for Sergey Pavlovich, 8,000 for the knockout king, Derek Lewis. Heavyweights make optimal 52.63% of the time. Great. Over 50, that's fantastic. Fight number 11, well over 50. In fact, the highest percentage out of any fight number on uh, out of all fights, 11th fight, someone from that fight makes it 58.18 percent of the time and the salary pair of 82 and 8,000, someone makes it almost 56 percent of the time absolutely fantastic start to this one tom uh 8200 has made optimal or it's been used rather 60 times and has made optimal just 14 of those times for a percentage of 23.33 has a win rate of just 45 percent so that is subpar very subpar for a quote-unquote favorite salary uh but when it does win makes optimal well over 50 percent of the time 51.85 percent and when it does win 93.24 let's get over to the eight thousand dollar the dog salary of the pair uh it's been used an equal amount of times as its counterpart but has made the optimal five more times 19 out of 60 times for an optimal rate of 31 0.67 anything over 25 is fantastic for optimal percent if you're over 30 you are killing it 31.67 is fantastic uh has a win rate 53.33 and this is a dog salary yes it's the most expensive dog salary but still it is a dog salary 53 win rate uh and when it does win almost 60 percent optimal 59.38 percent scores 93.74 guys this is I mean, almost almost every single number I've read has been a fantastic number on this one. I'm sure, Tom, you can guess what this one's going to be. We got ourselves another Bernie. And check out these salary scores, guys. 8,200, the favorite salary. 8.44 salary score, the 14th best out of all 30 salaries. So right at the middle, uh, the $8,000 salary. 6.72 rating, 7th overall, 7th best salary, $8,000, and you get Derek Lewis at the 7th best salary. So guys, this one has to be a Bernie. Um, I love this for GPPs. I don't think this one's going to decision. Watch Game Theory linked down below, and you will know exactly how I think you should play this. But the salary voodoo says play this fight because it's going to be a high-scoring Fight. So thank you, Tom. Before we get into the third and final fight on this video, please hit that like, subscribe to the MMA engine, and ring that bell as well, and you will miss nothing going forward uh, for any UFC card, but especially for UFC 277. Fight number three. Let's get into it. Picked by the Green Reaper. Green! What's up, my guy? Thank you a ton. The flyweight interim bout between Brandon Moreno and Kai Cara France. 8,900 for Moreno, 7,300 for Cara France. Let's start out with uh, the, the division here. Flyweight division. Someone from flyweight fight makes the optimal lineup 46.67%. That is a, you know, a bit higher than welterweight, as we discussed in the first fight, but still less than 50%. No bueno. Fight number 12, as it stands right now. Again, less than 50%, 47.62% of the time someone makes optimal from fight number 12. Not a great number. 
And here's the worst one yet. Oof, salary pair of 89 and 73. Someone makes optimal from those salaries just 52.59% uh, of the time. That is one of the lowest salary pair probabilities that we have uh, overall, honestly. One of the lowest. Um, oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Yeah, absolutely. One, uh, third lowest, third lowest, it looks like. Let's see, 8,900 has been used 57 times, has only made the optimal 11 times for an optimal percent sub 20. You never want to see that, especially with such an expensive salary, guys. 19.3% has a great win rate of 63.16, but it should be a little higher if you're paying almost $9,000. Uh, $9,000 has a win rate of 73. 91 is 70. 92 is 73. Uh, 93 is 68. Let's see, 88 is 70, 87 is 70. I could go on and on. This is the worst win rate by far in this salary range, by far. Uh, when it does win, it only makes optimal 30.56% of the time. These are all very poor numbers. In fact, the only good number is this one here, average DraftKings points per win over 100, just barely, but still, that is a fantastic number um, as far as DraftKings points per win. But that, again... The only good number that I'm seeing so far from the $8,900 salary. Let's check out its $7,300 counterpart. Has been used 55 times. The $7,300 salary has made optimal one more than the 89. 12 times for an optimal percent of 21.82. Uh, has a win rate of just 32.73. But when it does win, it makes optimal 61.11% of the time. These are decent numbers, just about av actually a little bit below average for the salary range. Um, but still, I mean, th there is no, but still they're lower than average, uh, average DraftKings points per win, just 92.87. All right, green. What is this one going to be? I think you can guess all of these numbers are pretty subpar guys. We got ourselves a frozen Jack. We got that bad salary voodoo. This is a hexed fight, a cursed fight. I mean, look at him staring up at his eyebrows. Like he doesn't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on either. Because this one is for an interim belt, which makes no sense to me. Uh, but whatever. We can't just call things number one contender fights anymore. We have to give, you know, plastic uh, belts to everyone. Um, I digress. Uh, this one is going to be a hexed fight. A cursed fight from Green Reaper. The salary score of 8,900 is very poor. Over 10. 10.04. The 18th best. So what is that? The 13th worst uh, salary you know, a bit below average for all 30 salaries. And the $7,300 salary is actually the better statistical salary to play. Uh, 9.28 salary score, the 16th best overall salary. So just under that average range uh, of 30 salaries. Guys, let's take a look at the recap for UFC 277, and we will get on out of here. The first fight we talked about, Semmelsberger and Morono, 8,600, 7,600. That gets a big, fat Bernie. We got a ton of great numbers on that one, but not as good as the numbers we have on our second fight. Pavlovich uh, at 8,000, or no, 8,200, and Derek Lewis at 8,000. We had some fantastic numbers from that $8,000 salary, but overall, these, this heavyweight fight and where it's at on the card, we got ourselves some good salary voodoo there. Another Bernie on that one. And the lone uh, cursed fight, the lone Frozen Jack on the 277 recap is going to be the co-main event, Brandon Moreno and uh, Kai Kara France. The numbers are all subpar for both of those salaries. Guys, be sure to check out my game theory video, which is down below. I break down all 13 fights very quickly, in my opinion, from a DraftKings perspective. It is about 40 minutes, um, so uh, try to do it as quickly as possible. Pair that with this, with these three fights, and you will know exactly how to play these three fights going into the weekend. Uh, be sure to get those lineups in. It is a standard start time, so no more morning starts, uh, at least for a few more weeks, uh, probably before we get to Abu Dhabi. I don't even know what time, but uh, it will be about a standard start time for this one. So get those lineups in. Uh, check out everything else we have going at the MMA Engine, and you will know exactly how to play these fights, whether it's for DFS, whether it's for wagering, or like I said, whether it's just for bragging rights for picks with your friends. So guys, thank you very much. I have been Monk. You have been awesome. And as always, I want all of you to enjoy the fights. So enjoy, and we will see you next time.